Did you know that 93% of your messaged impact is based on your body language and tone of voice? That means how you say what you say matters. In today's video, I want to share with you some effective body language and communication tips to help you make a lasting first impression for video interviews. I have another video that I created to help you set up your video interview, um, which includes the technology. So make sure you check out for that. All right, so let's dive right in. First things first, studies show that it takes only seven seconds to form a first impression. So you want to make sure um, what you show on screen is showcasing a professional background and with a good positioning. So I cover this in my other video, but some quick tips here is you want to give the feeling that you are in a professional work type environment. So like your office space. So perhaps have a neutral background with maybe some books or some plants, something that showcase that professional work environment there to give the vibe that you are organized, reliable and dependable there. Next is you want to dress for success. So this is the same um, tip as if you are going for an impersonal interview that you want to dress in a way that you are professional, that you're confident um, as well. When you're going on camera, I recommend avoiding bright colors as that could be hard on the eye. So stick to um, the neutral colors or pastel uh, colors there. Third is you want to be in an upbeat mood and energy. So convey that enthusiasm, make them feel that you are there and you're excited to meet with them as well. Because you're on camera, there is that feeling of distance. So you do really want to amplify that energy where they really feel you, um, your presence there. Next is you want to give eye contact and smile. So the key here is also looking at the camera, not just the screen here. So they can really feel that you are connecting with them. Smile is a great way to bond and it's a great way to eliminate your anxiety and nervousness as well. Try smiling with your eyes as well. Next tip here is having good posture. So what you wanna do is that you wanna make sure you are planting your feet on the ground, which gives you that strength as well and power. Sit up straight with your open shoulders, okay? So that you can feel more open and that you're owning your space as well. Lean forward a little bit so that it feels a little bit closer to the person that you are connecting uh, with there. Next is you want to use some hand gestures at that gives a bit of that more animation, that dynamicness that you feel that you are in that in person connecting as well. Next is to look at the webcam when speaking, right? So I know we have a tendency that we'll look at the screen instead of the webcam. The key here is that when you're speaking, you look at that webcam. So what I do is I actually put a picture of my kids um, that reminds me to look at that camera when I'm speaking. You can also put two post-it notes in between the webcam um, to remind you where to look as well. Next is you want to speak at a slower pace and with a lower tone of voice. You see, when you're on camera, um, it takes a bit longer to, for someone to receive that message. So you do want to speak a bit slower than usual. Um, that also gives the opportunity for the interviewer to take better notes as well. And when you speak in a lower tone of voice, it projects more credibility and confidence. So when you're listening, make sure that you're nodding and smiling to make them feel that you hear them, you see them, that you understand them as well. You can actually look at the screen when they are talking. Next is to be really present and really listen. So this is really that connection piece there. So avoid thinking of too many things in your head, really be an attentive listener to pay attention what they have to say, what they're trying to ask there so that you can really connect on that personal level as well. Lastly is to build trust and rapport. 
People hire people that they trust and like. So it is so key to build that trust and connection there. So a few things what you can do is maybe find a common, something common that you share, common interests, common values, um, demonstrate that you have that relevant skills and experience, that you understand what it takes to be successful in the job. It's really building that connection closer that they feel that you really get them there. All right, so I hope you find this helpful. If you like this and want to get more tips, please follow and connect with me on LinkedIn at Diana YK Chan. And if you'd like to get more tips and resources, come on over to visit my website at www.mymarkability.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Diana YK Chan. I help ambitious professionals and executives to design the next chapter of their life navigate transformational changes, and differentiate their unique brand value to land amazing opportunities and earn more money. Cheers to your markability.